Okay, hi, welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to PCF. Today we are going to learn about the. Uh, so this is a recent interview question. Uh, so the difference between the count and then count a. So the next coming uh, videos also we'll see all aggregation functions count x, count a x, and then difference between the count and then count uh, count x and all. So today we are going to learn about the the difference between the count and then count a. So normally count function will count the values. It will count the values in a column. Okay, it will count the values in a column. And the second point is it will ignore. It will not count. It will ignore or we can say not count the blanks per number and date data type. Date data type. Date, date, date. And third point is, third point is, it will, uh, it will not, it will not ignore, it will not ignore blanks, blanks per text data type. It will not ignore the blanks for the text data type. And then fourth point is, it will not work for, it will not work for. Okay, it will not work for the boolean data type. Boolean data type. And what is the syntax of this one? Count function. So count open bracket, column name. Column name. Count open bracket, column name. So we'll see whether it is work the same way or not. For that, what I have created. So in my table, uh, I have seen, I have taken like one is text data type and one is a number data type and one is a date data type and another one is a boolean data type so four types of uh, data types um, i have make sure i have all these four data types and then so whether uh, this will work the same way or not okay let me take this data into power bi let me take this data into power bi and then enter even you can also create this data like simple uh, table i have created uh, product name, price, and date, and then online address. You can also enter the data like this. And uh, so I'm not going to give any table, just I, I will keep as this as a table, and then click load. Okay. Click load. So data is loading. Even count A function also will do the same thing. Count function, count, a function also will do the same thing, but only the difference between count count and then count A is like uh, it will work for the it will work for the boolean data type. Okay, so only the difference count A will work boolean data type. Count count function will not work the boolean data type. Let's see practically. We'll see. We'll prove all these points whether it is working the same way. What I have explained the same way it is working or not. Okay. Let's we'll go each and every point and then we'll see. Okay. So now uh, let's create a measure. Okay. Let's create a new measure. And then first point, what is the first point? It will count the values in a column. Okay. Let's go and let's zoom it. Count equal to count. Let's take any uh, any any uh, value like so. We'll take the product name and then just press enter. Okay. So now let's select the table and then see the value whether it uh, how many values are there uh, in this count. Okay. So it is there eleven uh, values actually. Count function is having eleven. So let's see whether we have eleven or not. Okay, so if you go here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so that is the reason it is giving. And also, it is counting the blanks as well. It is not ignoring the bank. So make sure that, so we cover two points. It For text data type, it is counting the blanks as well. So even you can see in Excel, okay, you can see that in Excel, like uh, you can see the count. So what it is counting? So what is the count? 11. So the same output we got in, okay, same output we got in even in Power, power BI also. 
like it is it is ignoring in excel it is ignoring the blanks actually it is ignoring the blanks but in power bi it is not ignoring the blanks so that is the difference you can understand for text data type so count is not ignoring the blanks so count is also counting the blanks as well so one blank is there so that is the point okay first point it is counting the value in a column and also this uh, this point also covered it is it will not ignore the blanks for the text data type so two points covered and the next point it will ignore the blanks for the number and date data type so first we'll see the number and then we'll go with the date okay so let me write one more measure this time count to number i'm going with the count to number count num equal to count so number is a price data type right count price so price is a number data type so you can go and then press enter so column name and then select the count num so what is the number six so see here we have only the six values so the remaining blanks so that means it is ignoring the blanks and also let's go with the count date count date count date equal to count sorry count open bracket so the date if you take the date so it will also ignore the blanks number data type and then date data type it will ignore the blanks actually so let's see see it is also giving six so if you go here for the date so we have only the six values the remaining all are blanks the remaining all are blanks and the next one uh, so we have we covered the even so let's go with the boolean data type so whether it will work the boolean data type or not count b so b means boolean okay equal to and count open bracket the boolean data type is uh, online order online order we have true or false and then press enter okay count function will not work for the boolean data type I, uh, so as per our points uh, as per our points whatever i have written so it will not work for the boolean data type let's see whether it is working the boolean data type or not see it is giving an error that means count function will not work for the boolean data type okay so in this situation if you use the count a if you use the count a it will work count a it will work then press enter so it will work so that is the main difference between the kind count count a so if you see the uh, count for the true or false you will have the seven see you will have the seven here okay so the same output we got in so in power bi as well so hope you understand the difference between the count a and then count okay so tomorrow like the next video will cover the difference between the count and count x so count you have seen so what x function will do so like count x and then count a x we'll see in the next video so if you like the video please share and then subscribe my channel so for encouragement so i will do more videos guys thank you